Hello everyone, it's Sean from TaekwondoShan.com here and today we're going to go over the front turning kick Abdoyochagi Check it out Alright, so let's check out two stretches, two exercises that I think are really going to help you warm up your front turning kick, your Abdoyochagi So the first exercise to help you with warming up your front turning kick is going to be to grab a chair or grab the wall and you're going to bring your leg up like you're ready to do a front turning kick and then all you're going to do is perform the kick out in without going back down to touch the ground out in one two three we're going to do that ten times trying to keep your body as upright as possible trying to kick your belt height and then after you're done ten times we can switch try the other side ten more times making sure we have a good form good posture front turning kicks make sure we avoid that noodle foot good and then you do 20 times, then 30 times, 40 times. I like to go up to 40 because then we get an even 100 times each side. All right, now the next exercise to help you warm up your front turning kick is the leg swings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a target in front here, and then we're gonna swing our legs across the other one and up, across, up, across, up. Make sure to keep your body straight. You have good posture while you do it. And when you get to the top of your swing, it should be like you're doing a front turning kick. All right, and you can do it both sides. Now it's very important to get the other side as you go inverted, so you go to the opposite side here, you're stretching some muscles that are supporting the front turning kick as you bring it up. So it's very important to go both up and back the other way to warm up all the leg muscles required for the front turning kick. So now we're gonna go to the ground and learn how to do front turning kick by isolating just the leg, doing the motion, not worrying about balance or standing up. So what we wanna do is we wanna have our body aligned straight, going in one direction. And you can even put your hand out here and this will be the target. And then from here, I line up my knee with the arm and then I extend my leg. It lines up with the arm as well. And then back, out and then back, out and then back. And you're just practicing isolating the kick all by itself. Good, and then we can try the other side. Again, try to keep your upper body straight in good posture, set your target, align your knee, and then kick. The next step is to use something to assist you. So whether that's the wall, or a fridge handle, or a table, or in my case, a chair. So once again, I'm gonna align my body. My heel points at the target. I'm gonna put my hand on the chair. Bring my leg up, and I'm aligning everything straight. Good posture, and then my knee's pointing at the target as well, and then I extend and bring it back. Extend and bring it back. Now the slower you do it, the better, so you're learning how you have to shift your body weight, even with the chair, so that when you do the kick properly without the chair, you're not falling down. Make sure you do both sides. Make sure your heel points at the target. Open up, open up this leg. Make sure the knee's pointing at the target too. Good posture in your upper body. Set your target, out, in, out, in, out, in. So do that a couple times. We had an exercise at the beginning of the video where you're doing it 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times. So that's a good time to do it. So now that we've done it with the chair and on the ground, we're able to start doing it standing up. So what we're gonna do is focus on two points, pivoting our foot and then pivoting our upper body enough. So step one, all you're gonna do is bring your knee up and make sure your knee is slightly higher than your foot. So I'll show you what I mean. I pivot, bring my knee up, and my knee is slightly higher than my foot. I bent it as much as I can, my knee's pointing at the target, and then I bring it down. Come back and practice this until you're able to do it with good balance and good posture. And then when you're ready, you can start adding the kick. Now make sure that you use your arms when you do the front turning kick as well. So from here, I'll show you what I mean. I can pull this arm back slightly and open up my shoulder while the kick's going out to help counterbalance, okay? Now there's two kinds of front turning kicks. There's the sparring front turning kick, where it's a follow through, and then there's the pumse front turning kick or the demonstration front turning kick, where you come out and recoil very clean, very classy, all right? So the sparring front turning kick, you follow through, and then demonstration front turning kick, good form. All right, so you can choose or do both and then specialize later, but the main thing is that you're practicing the front turning kick properly in both regards. All right, today we're gonna focus on the demonstration style. So let's try the other leg from here, bring the knee up, pivot, and put it down. And then when you're ready, add the kick, come back. Now it's good to start at belt height, and then when you get more warmed up, we start doing face height kicks, we can start doing doubles, we can start doing fast kicks, 180s, all those things are built on the front turning kick. This is very important. This is a pivotal, pivotal kick. 
in Taekwondo. In sparring, in Cholgi, it is the bread and butter kick. All right, every front turning kick you land is two points. Now, what's great about front turning kick is that it doesn't take a lot of time, it doesn't take a lot of effort, and we're able to do it in rapid successions. It could be a follow-up kick, it could be the first kick, it could be a one-off, it could be part of a combo, so it's great. Front turning kick is really a resourceful, really. Front turning kick is really, front turning kick is really useful in sparring. All right, now let's go through two exercises that can help you build up your front turning kick, the muscles involved, and build up your strength so that you can do this kick quicker, stronger, and it just looks better because it's more practiced and your muscles are ready. So what we're gonna do first is the squat front turning kick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a comfortable squat here, and then come up, and as you come up, you're gonna bring your knees up, and front turning kick on one side, and try to put your foot down exactly where it was before. I can tell because the mat's kind of warm on that spot. And then from here, up, and front turning kick. Bend, front turning kick. Bend, front turning kick. Bend, front turning kick. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do one of my favorites, all right? So we saw this in the axe kick video. We're gonna be putting our hands on the wall or another support object, and then we're gonna be having a base. So we extend our front turning kick here at a base height. So let's say the chair is my base height. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up higher than my base height and back down. Up higher than my base height and back down. One, try not to touch the base height. And then as we get better, you can bring your base height further up. One, two, three. So you do that 10, 20, 30, 40 times each side. Again, I like to do up to 40 because then it's an even, clean, 100 times each side. And I find it quite challenging. All right, so hopefully you do too. Now, let's go over two stretches that I find really helpful for the front turning kick. The first stretch is very common. It's called the splits, the side splits. So you open your legs up and you go down as far as you can. And then you have your toes pointing up as you go down lower and lower and lower. And then the main thing is you keep your hands close to your body, close to your legs, and that way you're not leaning forward too much like this. And you wanna keep good posture overall. And then from here, you go as low as you can. Obviously, I'm very good at this stretch. Now you go as low as you can and you hold it, preferably for a longer period of time. And then you'll be able to kick higher. Another good stretch that I find for the front turning kick that really opens up your hips is the butterfly stretch. So everyone have a seat. Oh, that was my inner instructor coming out. Everyone have a seat. Now from here, just wiggle your hips so you get them all warmed up. Now, the goal of this is to keep your back straight and you have good posture and you want your knees to touch the ground. That's the first step. And then step number two is to lean forward. Now what you want to avoid is leaning forward by arching your back like this. You can go way further if you arch your back like that, but it's not good posture and you're putting a lot of stress and tension on your lower back muscle, which is really just for stability, so it's not meant to do those kinds of things. So keep your upper body straight, lean forward as much as you can, and then take your elbows and push your knees down, and then lean forward. Obviously, you can tell I'm also very good at this stretch as well. So front turning kick is super useful in sparring. We see it in one of the pumse, take out yukjang, pumse number six. It's also used in demonstrations. It's the building block for all the amazing kicks in Taekwondo, like double front turning kick, 180, 360, 720. It all involves the front turning kick. So make sure your apto yochagi, your front turning kick, is super good. You build a strong foundation because you're gonna be seeing this kick a lot. All right, so train hard, be safe, and we'll see you guys on the mats. Oh, train hard, and we'll see you on the mats.